YouTube, it is your girl Special Nicole, and I'm back with another video. Um, today I have this inkling to try something with my hair, so I'll try it first for y'all before y'all go out and try to do it yourselves. Um, today I was out with my friend Leah, who locks I started for her, as y'all can recall. I'll link those videos down below if you are new and you don't know what I'm talking about. But her loctician had mentioned to her that a protein treatment would be beneficial for her and strengthening her hair um, throughout her lock journey. And light bulbs went off in my head when she said that because as a loose natural, I will make sure I stayed up to date with my protein treatments, just doing them at home myself. And I've been locked now for two years and I haven't done that at all. So I thought, hmm, I've been feeling, times I know when I want a protein treatment or in the past, it was like, okay, my hair is dull, it feels drier, scalp is itchier, and it just does not, it's lacking something. And like washing it and adding in oil and stuff doesn't seem to make it come back to life. So I said, I could probably use a protein treatment myself. So that is what we're going to be doing today in this video. I'm going to do a protein treatment and then I am going to also attempt to do a hot oil treatment afterwards to kind of just seal in moisture and just rejuvenate my hair. So I'm going to show you the protein treatment that I have today that I'll be using. The G two-step protein treatment. Um, so it says two steps but it's really all just this one bottle and um, it helps to stop breakage on um, even badly damaged hair when used as directed uh, ideal for processed or natural hair also by alpha g i'm trying to think this is a use on wet hair to maintain moisture detail and improve manageability um you do rinse it out so you don't leave it in it says use as needed and always use immediately after the two-step protein treatment which is what I have um, it restores the softness to your hair so so it's not the same one that I've used in the past but we're gonna figure it out we're not gonna leave it up there too long so I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and then I'll be back to show you how I apply it I just want to let y'all see what my hair looks like now before the protein treatment in case it looks different afterwards so I'm gonna do I have not done my retie yet that is what I'm going to work on after I finish I did start one section in the back but I have not completed the entire head so my hair doesn't feel super dry but it just I don't know something's not doing given what needs to be gave so I'm gonna go and I have like like this lock I think I'm gonna cut because I have this like little weak spot here and I don't know just want to strengthen it up some more we're gonna see how this goes so I'm gonna go wash my hair you asked me to wash my hair thousands of times before no need to show y'all that I will be back when it's time to put the protein treatment in my head Okay hey y'all, so I'm back from washing my hair. Um, now I'm going to now I'm going to section my hair off, um, and I'm gonna apply the protein in sections because of course it's always easier and better to work in sections when you're doing your hair. So I'm gonna do that now. Just text, I know it's a toss up, but I hate the fact that we lost a liquid. Consistency. All right, let's go ahead and start with section one. Keep the pace on slow 
Okay, everything is in, and I'm just gonna leave it like this to let it air dry. Um, this stuff is sticky once it dries down because my face and neck and stuff where it's been dripping down is sticky um, from it. If you're wondering how much I use or what I did, I did section by section. I split the section in half, try to get it on my scalp in each section, and then try to make sure I got the ends and try to get all the way down the shaft. So I tried to make sure every section was covered and saturated. Um, and with this bottle, it's probably still about this much left in here. As you saw, it's a liquid, so it's real runny and messy. Like, look at my neck. And all this is going to be sticky in a second once it dries down. So, I am going to let this bake and marinate. And then I'll be back when it's time to wash it out. Alright y'all, I don't know. I think it's probably been like 30 minutes. I've been working on editing another video for y'all. But like, I'm so wet. <laughs> and sticky. Like, I don't know if you can see all that running down my face. So... I think it's dryish. I don't want to keep leaving it in too long. So I'm going to do the washing out process. So I think I'm going to go section by section, one section at a time, just so I can make sure I'm getting it rinsed out really, really well. Because we still have another step to do with this balancing moisturizer. Um, and that has to be left in for two minutes. So. I'm gonna rinse this out and then put this in, let it sit for two minutes, and then um, it has to be rinsed out. So let's head back to, well, this is your first time going to the sink. Let's head to the sink. We was raised a little different. Used to be ashamed who I was, now I'm paid by the sentence. Taking my time with it. Baby, give me all so I can get them butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page. Give me with a text voice, note or an emoji. Waiting on pay for your name on the ID. So if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash in. And we could keep the face on slow motion. Don't leave me on red. Can we go back where we first began? All we have is the moment. Okay, y'all. So we're fresh out of the sink. So I'll give my first impressions. Um, right now, of course, you can see my hair is still soaking wet. I'm hoping I washed it good enough. The only thing about washing your locks in the sink. It's hard to separate and make sure you're getting in the middle good because your hair is just flipping over the top versus in the shower. But overall, after doing the protein treatment and washing it out, um, my hair immediately felt like it felt softer, felt more refreshed, and it just felt different. I could tell that I had done something to my hair. felt different in a good way. Not It felt less frizzy, less dry less brittle it felt good um and then now after using the balancing moisturizer which to me basically sounds like a deep conditioner um and it sat for two minutes um and rinsing it out and my hair feels um uh, more moisturized very moisturized actually um and overall i really like how it feels like i can tell like i said i can tell i did something to my hair and it feels a lot different the test will be how it looks when it's actually dry but as for now, it feels really, really good. 
Um, I know I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I was going to also do a hot oil tre treatment. I don't feel like I am anymore because one, I'm tired. Two, um, my hair feels moisturized so I don't see the need to do both of them, both the protein treatment and the hot oil treatment anymore because I think I got the results I was looking for. But I am still going to oil my scalp um, and seal in this moisture with some oil like I normally do on my wash day routine. So y'all already know what I'm going in with. I actually think I'm going to, if Mitch still has some Jamaican black castor oil, he doesn't. I thought he did. And some tea tree oil. Um, I need to restock on other oils, but this is all I have, which is almost gone also. So I'm going with the Tilly Waheen healing oil and just get to the scalp. And I'm going to go through and separate my roots so I don't get any merging since it is retie time. I do know when I do finish the retie, um, I think it's going to look really good. I also feel like my hair looks like it's more rejuvenated we look real thirsty and dusty before but now like my color my color has more of a natural sheen natural luster to it which is what i wanted i just could not figure out why my hair just looks so dull and dry so yeah so if you feel like your hair just looks dull and dry um it's like no matter how much oil moisture you put in it it just does not seem to hold the sheen or super frizzy because protein treatments also help with frizziness of your hair because I mean that's basically just dry hair anyway so I think I got good results my ends because I was having breakage too on the ends like little I'll find little hairs all the time so I, that's why I made sure I put some on my ends to kind of strengthen them I think this is exactly what I needed I'm glad I did this like my hair just oh uh, it just looks ten times better it feels ten times better like because everything was like getting tangled and like the locks were just sticking together at the ends because they're just all the frizzy and matte and everything and I just felt like they weren't looking like cute they was just looking like a hot mess and I was like we gotta do something I ain't know if I needed to use some of my semi-permanent if that was the case if I needed to use more some conditioner more leave-in I didn't know what was going on like mm-hmm yep yep we we like this I feel better already so I'm gonna get out of this wet t-shirt and place it look at this little curl look at look at her little curls on the end popping look at them yep this was a good idea so I'm going to put a t-shirt on let it dry some and then I will come back to let y'all see what it looks like after it has dried down and we can have the real test of if it looks better than before versus now so i'll see y'all in a few all right y'all so my hair is still damp but it's drier than when y'all first saw me so i'm gonna let y'all get a look at the semi results so again my hair feels really moisturized um it's still, I feel like it still has like more of a sheen or luster to it than what I had when we first started talking. If y'all remember what that looked like. Um, so yeah. So it definitely feels more moisturized. I am content with that. Um, we'll see my ends. Like you can see, they have um, the curls are popping. Granted, I'm not trying to keep my curls. They're just still some that are there. So they look more uniform versus being frizzy 
little where some ends they get tangled so do you feel better I feel even better once I have actually completed my retie um got so far to go on that but yeah I think the protein treatment was a success um I don't know how often I would do one because you don't need a lot like you don't want to overdo it too much protein can be a bad thing so it's probably going to be an as needed thing that's kind of what I did as a loose natural it's kind of just as needed when I felt like oh my hair is changing and washing it and moisturizing it isn't giving me the results I need I must be I must need protein so that's kind of how I will go about that in the future um, but I am happy that I did do that today my scalp feels amazing my hair feels like I said nice and moisturized um, and these two items came separately for me I know some hair stores sell them together but make sure you get if you're getting this you need to have you have to have this to restore the moisture in your hair so don't forget that um, and it tells you on the back of the bottle to immediately use the balancing moisturizer afterwards um, so just read the back of the bottle before you make any decisions or leave the store so you can make sure you have everything that you need but yeah so that is protein treatment for me you know even my like hair that hasn't been retied yet is super soft and feels really really good but yeah so I think it was a good idea and I'm content so I will see y'all on the next video let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below talk to y'all later